Super Drummers. What up? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, well, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single upload. Well, actually, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload because YouTube's algorithm is a lot different now. And if, even if you are subscribed to the channel, you might miss every upload anyway. So hit the bell notification if you want to see the videos on this channel uploaded. Anyways, in this stick trick combination episode, I got a pretty cool link written out for you guys. The sheet music will be on my website. I was gonna say in the in the description below, but I meant the link is gonna be in the description below. So you can click the link, download the music, look at it, learn it, play it back, you know, post a video, show it off in front of your friends, maybe use it. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, real quick, let's take a look at this sheet music. I'm gonna show you where all the stick tricks are. As you can see, there isn't too many stick tricks labeled. You got your right hand twirl towards the end of measure number one. Starting off with measure number two, you got that right hand spider. And also, of course, on measure number two, you got the right hand half flip on count number two, halfway through count number two, coming out of that spider. So going back to what I was saying earlier, how there's not a lot of labeled stick tricks up here, but you have your back stick, and you have a high mom, and you have crossovers. So the little note heads mean certain stick tricks. So the diamond means it's a back stick, triangle means it's a high mom. And then finally the two little pluses means that they are crossovers. So instead of just labeling all of the stick tricks over the music, I made it easier by using symbols to indicate different stick tricks, at least the most common ones. Without further ado, let's break down this music. So this is why it's very important to know your rudiments, all right? Not just knowing how to play it, but actually knowing how to identify your rudiments. So a lot of people assume you're doing stick tricks, it's just a stick trick, but they don't realize that there's a rudiments inside of these stick tricks. A lot of stick tricks. Oh, in a lot of cases, at least in my solos, there is actual rudimental content inside of these stick tricks that I do. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. So first things first, we're gonna do measure number one. We're gonna break it down by each count. So I'm gonna play the first measure real quick, demonstrate how it's done. All right, yeah, that was a little fast, but we're gonna break it down like I said. So the first count, ending to the second count. All right, it's gonna be count one, ending, and count two. That's what I'm gonna go over. There's gonna be two paradiddles, and it's gonna start with the right hand. You don't realize it at first doing that, unless you're a really good drummer, you can see it right off the bat, but it's a paradiddle. That is a paradiddle. But nonetheless, it is a paradiddle. Two of them are gonna be off your right hand. Like that. So now, if you could do that two times consecutively, and on the count, it's gonna go one, a two, okay? One, a two. Slowly, my bad. One, a two. You see how that diddle landed on the two? You're gonna do that, but now you're gonna add in some stick tricks. You're gonna add in a back stick, followed with a high mom. So you're gonna mix two stick tricks together, all right? So here's how it's done. We're gonna break it down with our right hand first. Make sure you get that down, all right? Back stick. And your left hand is literally just one high mom. If you can get that down, you can play this. And if you can play the paradiddle. So if you can do that, this, and play it in a paradiddle sequence, then you're good. It looks like a lot, but trust me, it's really not a lot if you know how to do the high mom already and you know how to back stick. So do those twice in a row, all right, consecutively. So one, a two, one, a two, okay? It's very important that you understand how to count. Like one E and a two E and a three and so on and so on. So. If you understand how to count, you'll have no problems doing this, all right? You shouldn't have any problems doing this, I should say. So going into count number two now, your left hand, you're gonna lead it off with another paradiddle. All right, it's gonna start on the end. We're already doing the two part. So that diddle off the, the last diddle starts on count number two. So we're gonna keep jumping forward into the end of count number two. And that's literally it. That's left-handed paradiddle, easy, right? So going into count number three now, you're gonna have 30 second note paradiddle diddles. All right. That's how it's gonna sound, but it's gonna look different. So you're gonna mix that paradiddle diddle with two crossovers. Right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. 30 second notes. All right. And you're gonna end it on that buzz right after that stick shot. 
So the counting, so counting wise, it's gonna go three, a four, and a. Okay, that buzz is on the uh before going into measure number two. So let's do measure number one first though, before we jump into measure number two. Hey, real quick, I forgot to mention at the end of measure number one, after that stick shot, during that left-handed buzz, you're gonna do a quick stick twirl. All right, so it's gonna go. I forgot to mention that, my bad. All right, if you watch enough of these videos, you already know what the tempo is. It's 70 beats per minute. You already know. That's what I start with. Well, here we go. I did a little hezzy. All right. If you're looking for a sweater to keep yourself warm throughout this early spring going into late spring hit your boy up get a super drummers sweatshirt what you waiting for it's high quality look at that of course i got other merch as well on the online store sdjmalik.com the link is in the description below catch you some merch all right if you need a coupon code hit your boy up at sdjmalik1 at gmail.com and i'm gonna hook you up super drummer merch and now for measure number two so first of all there's gonna be a six tuplet in count number one, and then a triplet in count number two. So we're gonna put it all together. Also, you're going to be doing some right-handed spiders, all right? This left hand is gonna be back sticking. I'll show you how it's done. I'll show you how to count it, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go count number one and count number two. From count number one, there's gonna be an eighth note rest in that six tuplet, all right? So we gotta be careful of that. So we're gonna count that as one, and we're gonna jump in on the and uh, all right? So I'm going to play through the first two counts real quick. So it's gonna go one, two, all right? So let's break that down real quick. You're not gonna do a left-handed spider. It's gonna be back sticking. That's gonna be kind of an illusion. Your right hand is gonna be doing all the partying. So it's gonna go one and, all right? In a triplet form, one and, one more time, one and, notice how I'm jumping right into the back sticking of the left hand. So it's gonna go one and a uh, two. Let's make it there. One and a uh, two. One more time. You wanna get to this point. One and a uh, two. So you're gonna really be doing back one back stick on the left hand going into count number two. So moving through to count number two from count number one, it's gonna go one and a uh, two and a. Uh, all right, and a. Uh. Two sixteenth notes right there. All right, left-handed. One and a uh, two and a. Uh. One more time. Slowly I'll go. One and a uh, two and a. Uh. So after that last spider, when you get to the butt of the stick, let's just like that. You're gonna half flip it up just like that. All right. Going through count number three, through count number four, you're gonna start with the left-handed tap. And your second note's gonna be that right-handed back stick. So from this point, the back stick is gonna start off that right-handed paradiddle. All right, so it's gonna go three and, all right? Three and, and then you're gonna end it with that left-handed tap, and it's gonna be on the uh. So it's gonna go three and uh, all right? Three and uh. And then going through count number four, you're gonna start with that left-handed flam. It's gonna be an accent note. And you're pretty much gonna do the opposite of what I just did for count number three, also a paradiddle. So you're gonna do another paradiddle after that left-handed flam. So it's gonna go flam paradiddle, all right? Left-handed back stick. All right, you're gonna accent off that left hand. It's gonna be on the uh, a four, and you're gonna end it with that right-handed accent that's gonna end the whole entire lick. So. Four and a one, all right? Four and a one. So hopefully that was understandable. I hope I broke it down good enough for you. So let's do count number three into count number four. You already know what the tempo is, 70 beats per minute. So here we go. One more time.
This time we're going to do the entire lick at 70 beats per minute starting there and then we'll work our way up to the recommended tempo of this lick. Real quick on a side note, don't expect to get this lick down in 10 minutes or 5 minutes, however long this video is. Alright, it's going to take some time to get this down. So just be patient with it. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. Don't trip. Alright, get it down little by little. That's what this video is for. Full breakdown of these licks that I write for you. You know, and then you can show off in front of your friends, your high school friends, your college friends, or your, your girlfriends, your wives, whoever. 70 beats per minute. We're going to play this entire lick. Alright, so here we go. Ooh, I came in a little late. One more time. It's real important that you know how to count, uh, you know how to count your rests, especially. So that way you know when to come in, all right? That six tuplet, you're gonna come in on the and. So it's gonna go one and uh, okay? Very slow, one and uh. So it's gonna go one and uh, two. All right, just make sure you know how to count one and uh. I know, I'm pretty sure there's other ways to count. It's probably not the official way to count, but that's how I count. It's easy, it's simple, and it makes sense to me. All right, I jumped the tempo up to 90 beats per minute. We're gonna do the same lick, so here we go. One more time. So I got it at the recommended tempo at 105 beats per minute. So here we go. Let's clean it up a little bit. Come on, Jay. Here we go. All right, super drummers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this lick and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not subscribed yet. If you're new here and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. All right, super drummers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a little